Meat City, baby. Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with episode 25 of my A Ground All Achievements playthrough. And we are starting to make some really significant strides in terms of the story of the game. So we have our farm all set up at home. We've explored the solar system that we're in, which is three planets. There's um, uh, planet B, C, and D. C is the one that we start on. B is the one closest to the star for the system and it has some good resources for mining purposes. And D has some other stuff going on. It's a little bit of a mystery planet right now. Not great in terms of resource mining so far, but there is a monolith and there is some other stuff story related going on there that we'll get to later. So what we're going to do now, I think we're ready to explore outside of our solar system. And there are a couple of options for how you do this. There's no particular order, but I am going to start uh, with the Sol system where Earth is because I did it the, the opposite way. I think I saved that one for last in my previous playthrough, and it's beneficial if we can complete it earlier. I think we'll be able to. If we run into some kind of roadblock, we'll switch gears and do something else. But what I want to do today is head there and try and solve the mystery of what's going on at Earth, check in on it, and see how things are going. So the main thing that we want to make sure we have, because this is a longer trip, we don't want to have to be running back and forth from solar system to solar system because it does cost exotic matter fuel, which for now is a limited resource. So we are going to check the cargo. We've got six in there, which is fine. That's um, one for the trip to, one for the trip back, and four extra. That should be fine. I think we'll stick with that. Um, I do want to get another uh, power core built. Why not max out the ship before we go? Um, there's not going to be a ton of combat, I don't think, but I'd rather optimize the ship and have it um, ready to go before we head out. So we're going to exit the ship. We're going to make sure we've got all of our batteries. We're going to make sure we've got some extra food items. And we'll make sure we've got uh, the power core. So let's cook up some food because um, healing on the go is important. We can heal in our ship, so that's fine. But we'd like to be able to... Uh, not have to come out of. There's some, some pretty big, uh, air quote here, dungeons, um, spaces that we have to solve on foot. And if we have to like get halfway through and then come back out and come back in again, it would be a little bit annoying. So let's make up a couple of extra food items. We'll bring those with us. And then let's drop off unnecessary items and let's just take a look. So we've got our food. No building resources. Um, I don't think we need to be bringing any of that with us right now. Weapons look good. We don't need to bring any animals. Um, we will bring some spirit gems just in case. Uh, let's see, spirit gem. Just in case there are things to capture. I don't think there's gonna be much but I'd rather have a couple on us. Uh, and then we'll also get some nets going and we'll get some um, enhanced nets here as well. So let's take, let's take those. Let's get some blood gems. So that's good. Uh, let's check our power supply. Let's add fuel here. Recharge our batteries. How many batteries are we taking? 43. That's, let's grab a couple more. We can keep them on the ship. Uh, we can recharge them on the ship, but again, there are some kind of deep dives that we're gonna be going on here. And then let's just take a little bit of uranium. And we'll check all of our other power plants because again, we might be gone for a little bit here and we don't want any of these to shut down if we can avoid it. We'll just top that one off.
Okay, I think we're ready. So we will save just in case we screw something up here. One more harvest. And let's get out of here. Oh, right, we wanted to make our uh, power core. One more power core. All right, there we go, full power core. Let's put a couple of things in storage here that we don't need. All right, I think we are all set. So one more save and off we go. So to get out of the solar system, we come all the way over here to the right. We bring up the menu and here we go. And let's check out the other planets before we go to Earth. Let's start with Mercury. And I think we can go down and mine here. And I think there's no oxygen, so let's check. This should be another small planet. So we've got this big gray block here. Oh yeah, I think it's like super quick day-night cycles too, um, which, which is accurate. Okay, so, yep, very small planet. We'll take a quick look. And yep, oxygen is a thing here that we, we don't have, so. We're based on our uh, suit's supply. And let's just dig straight down. Again, I, you, there'll be some good stuff here, but I don't think anything critical. Mainly, I'm just checking to see. Yep, there is exotic matter down here, so that's good. Lots of titanium, lots of uranium. any creatures here. I don't think there are any, not 100% sure on that. Let's drop off our inventory. Okay, recharge the batteries, we'll rest, and we'll head out. So again, lots of good stuff here, uh, exotic matter, titanium, uh, stuff that, you know, you could definitely fill up your, your supplies with, um, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. All right, let's go to Venus. I don't think we can land on Venus, but again, it's been a while, so let's see. Yeah, okay, cannot land. Got it. So just one that we can kind of come and check out. Nothing here in space. 
So let's move on and we'll go to Earth next. I am gonna save Mars. There's a whole lot to do on Mars. So let's do Earth first. Okay, and we've got a uh, survivor contact here. And then I think we can collect this stuff. What is it? Titanium. High-tech parts. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's clean all of this stuff up. Oh, my gosh, the free high-tech parts are great. Um, and so we'll clean up the space junk here before we head down to the planet. I think that's everything. So now we're gonna head down into the atmosphere. And we can see things are just absolutely devastated. And lots of enemies down here. So uh, in addition to the enemies, there are also like falling meteor strikes um, that come down and, and if they hit your ship, they can do some damage too. So. We can see here we've got some drones. And these guys are attacking us. But again, because we have... Hold on, let me just deal with these guys first. Oh, and that meteor hit the drone? That was awesome. Uh, okay, so because we have this... Um, Mecha Dragon ship, we, uh, we're we not worried about getting into it a long engagement with enemy ships, right? Our battery recharges. We don't have to constantly feed the thing. So again, big up uh, for the, the Mecha Dragon ship. We can see the moon rising in the back there. It's shattered. That's so cool. Um, oh yeah, these guys drop really good. Uh, these AI cores, those will be important. And oh, we got some guys on the ground here too. Yeah, we gotta watch out for those. All right, let's rest so it's daylight, just so we can see a little bit better. And now what we wanna do is use our comm device to try and locate the source of the distress signal. Um, won't let me use it because I'm on the ship. Let's get out of the ship. Yep, okay. Uh, unknown contact. And now we can track it. And I think we can track it, yep, yep, and see the little red arrow there. Oh, okay, it's a pointer. Um, and so it looks like they are directly below us. What are these purple spirits? That's interesting. Okay, let's land our, sh oh, why are we taking damage? All right, let's land here and let's, do we have, yep, okay, titanium repairs the ship. We are taking some damage. Let's do a little repair and let's get out of the ship. And we'll rest, lots of inventory space. So let's hop out and see what's going on over here. I don't know, are these guys gonna attack me? I completely, I don't think I saw them at all when I was here my first time. Okay, they're not doing that. Can I capture them? We can. Broken, interesting. Okay, um, well, we'll leave them there for now. So we can see we, can, we can't dig through this material. It's, it's too hard, um, but there is a building here. I think this is, oh, I thought this was the entrance, but it's still saying to go left. Yeah, is it this, this one also has the entrance? It does. All right, let's check out both. We'll start here. Yeah, and these guys are tough. Uh, tough to fight because they've got a good defense 
uh, they do a crazy amount of damage and so they'll drain our shield very quickly. So let's first head out and let's go ahead and do the other building here because I think this is where we want to start. Yep, okay, that's what we were looking for. All right, so this is why we're here. We want to get ourselves a key card down in the subway. And okay, this is just a depot where we can drop stuff off. And is this a save spot? Yep, okay, safe spot. So we can't dig down through here, but I think this will be what we open back up at the end of our journey. So let's see if we can accomplish that. Um, yep, high tech parts lying on the ground. Good to pick those up. All right, let's start with this building. It's got the purple guys on it, so it's easily um, identifiable. And yeah, you can see these things are tough because they have such a, a long arc of a shot and it tracks. Um, and there, okay, you can see where we are in relation to our friend. Okay, that guy's down. Now, I think... I think if we go out and come back, he will respawn. Let's test that theory. I think they even respawn if you, like, leave the screen. And we won't, we won't worry about killing him again if he comes back. No, he didn't. Okay, great. Um, so, if we get in here far enough and we need to come back out and recharge, uh, we can do that. So that's what we need the key card for. And there are some traps in the floor, it looks like. Titanium. I don't think we can go through these cracks now. Ah, antimatter missile. Cool. All right, we are looking for a subway. I think they're always on the ground, so maybe we just stay up high when we can. All 
All right, we've got a door here. That might go to the subway. But let's check the rest of the hallway. Yep, okay, so that's a dead end. So into the subway we will go. I was gonna say, I thought this was like a heel guy. But he was definitely attacking me. Let's take him out. Yeah, we cannot dig through this. Is this a rail system? I think we could probably like pick up those rails. All right, dead end here. And I think we need another doorway. Yep, there's another door, but let's check the end of the hallway. Ah, there's the key card. Wow, that was easy. Um, so we could take that right back, but instead let's finish exploring here. Whoa, big guy down there. Let's not mess with him right now. All right, we are starting to get a little bit full. And we'll see if we can sneak past this guy. Okay, another key card here. Okay, so here is the door that's locked, I think. Yep, and then we can see our friend over there on the other side. Oh, don't do that. Okay, so I think what we wanna do is go back to our, um, to our new companion there and give them the disabled key card because they'll turn it into a regular key card and then I think we can shut off the drone so then we'll just come back. Um, we're full on our inventory space. So um, I think that makes sense to do. So let's do that and then we'll come back in. Leave that titanium. I thought this guy was the repair guy. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. Health and stamina fully restored. Great. And then is this the door we were in or is this a third door?
And this should take us outside. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's go back to the ship. We will rest. Let's drop off all of those goodies, those AI cores. Oh yeah, and we'll grab our omelets. All of that stuff can go. We're not capturing anything here with our nets, so we'll get rid of those. And then recharge the batteries. All right, and then let's head back out. Oh, wait, I should check. Did we, we might've dropped off our key card. Check. Oh, okay, good. It kept those as favorites. Good. Um, all right, so we do have a, a drone shooting us. So let's uh, take that out before we go back out there so we don't get too beat up. those cores went to my inventory. They went straight to the ship. Okay, good. So we're going to exit out. Let's go back and find the, uh, the AI companion. I think they're over here. We will go back and repeat our path. And how did we do that? I think we started We started pink guys. Yep, good. So this is the drone factory. And you can see we're right underneath the, uh, the AI there. So if we take control and that unlocks, take control, disable the rogue drones. Um, Disables, so they're now in idle patrol mode. So they're still here. I think we can still fight them if we want to try and harvest their resources, uh, but they shouldn't just outright attack us. And this gives us access to the drone factory and this automated suit, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. It is, it's a completely, uh, it's a full set of inventory. So you put this on and it takes all of your inventory slots, I think including your weapon, yeah, attack. Uh, I think it it has the same damage blocking that we that we use. Um, it can actually right. It can travel between planets, and I think it can even travel between solar systems. Uh, not that that's a good idea. You don't want to be fighting spaceships in this thing, but it can do it if you get stuck. Um, so one core six parts titanium and the anti-grav pack. And does it also increase our carry 400? I'm not sure. So we'll make that. I think we have this stuff ready. Um, laser trap, not a big deal. We can make our own drone ship. Kind of cool, but kind of pointless. Um, the drone drill, I think is also pointless. This thing does not have its own. It does have a mining of seven. Uh, I think that's an upgrade, right? Yeah, right. That does improve our, our mining. Um, it, it's pretty crazy. It's not end game, but it's really, really good. And then we've also got what a sub jump ship. We can make a scout, um, laser armor. The bots can all be made here. Of course, high tech parts with the same materials as everywhere else. Okay. So let's, now with the drone factory on, I think, huh, I thought we would open up this pathway, but maybe if we talk to her, 
then it will open up the pathway. Okay, so let's go back out one more time. And we can explore a little bit more freely here. Oh, okay, so that's another exit here from a different building. There are multiple ways to get in here, and I think if I shoot it, it will defend itself. I'll take the high-tech parts. Ah, free jetpack. Yeah, so it definitely fights back if you engage it. Let's check, what do we need? I know we have the stuff back on the ship, but let's take a quick look. The automated suit takes six high-tech parts. And I don't think we're close to being able to make high-tech parts because we don't have uranium in here. Again, we have it on our ship. Um, okay. All right, I think that explores everything on the map here. And yeah, so why not? Let's let's do it the smart way. We know we can just exit right out of the dungeon uh, by that new door. So let's take that. Oh, does this guy have a core just sitting here? We'll take that. And let's see if we can fight this guy. Why not? We do have the, when you have the wall, it makes it so much easier. I think that's a sub, so I don't think that can fly. All right, so let's head back. I think the strikes get worse at night here. Um, we did see this little rail system, and this, of course, is giving us an indication that there's something over here worth talking to. <coughs> Professor's key card. Okay, so uh, I think we'll get that from the AI companion. So let's head back. I think the next island that we come across will again be where we parked our ship. Yep, there we go. Oh, big hit. All right, let's rest to make it daytime. Let's unload our inventory, but then we'll take back I think we just need one AI core. Let's take two. We needed, I think, six high-tech parts. We'll take eight. And then we needed, I think, 12 or six titanium. We'll grab 15. And let's take out that uh, enemy ship. Recharge our batteries.
exit the ship just across the way to our AI friend who should be pleased with, oh gosh, another one. All right, let's see what she has to say. Yep, here we go, Professor. Oh, find the Professor? I did find them. There we go, there's the Professor's key card. Beautiful. Still no path here. I thought that would be a thing. Well, maybe after the Professor's... Uh, after we talk to the Professor. I, I know this path opens up after we do something the right way. Oh, but I guess that means we need to hoof it all the way back in there to build our suit. But let's do that. I want to build that suit while we're here. All right, hopefully this says we have everything except the anti-grav pack, good, which we're wearing. So we will take it off, which means we can't move because we're severely overloaded, but we don't have to because we're in the right position. Yep, core, parts, titanium, anti-grav pack, and boom, automated suit, and then we just have to put it on. There we go. And you can see every single slot gets taken up by this thing. We get some oxygen and then, ah, look how cool that suit is. And does this let me mine through it? Ah, okay. Well, that's one way to get through. And what's down here? Oh yeah, this is the, the blueprint printer, I believe. Ah, power core part. Okay, and that'll make our last power core. Yes, we will take that. It looks like a little store here. Uh, we will take a couple, right? We're, I know, I think we're fine. And then this is uh, a blueprint printer. And so you can see it makes all of these blueprints. Um, I don't think we need any of them for an achievement, but if there's any that you're missing, right, you can come here to get the blueprint and the cost is this uh, special paper, platformer arcade, power line, hut. Oh, there's the hut blueprint. Ship dock, sub pen, polymer assembler. So that's the thing that's next to it here, I believe. Yep. And so you can see this thing will make the paper that the blueprint uh, reader needs but you have to put fuel in, in order to do it. Um, and you need a lot. Collect complete. How many would you like to cancel? Yeah, cancel. Okay. So if we put in these, these parts, it'll start making the paper. I don't think we're going to mess with that in this playthrough because there's nothing that we need to. But we'll come back and now that we have easy access to it. And then where does this door go? This goes right to the other side. Okay, that's the block that blockage that we had before. And now with this upgraded mining suit, right, we can get through the floor. And so we can kind of make our own shortcuts. Um, I think that's just titanium, right? Yeah.
this guy's gonna be friendly and friendly. And wow, lots of enemies down here. Anything at the end of this? So this is the part that we explored already. Oh, right, okay, and then we can see we could go outside. I don't want to flood the passage, so we'll stop there. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and try out the combat capabilities. Oh, brought the uh, drone down here. So does this thing overheat? No, I don't think it does. Uh, it shoots much faster as we can see. Let's head back. We'll clean up some of those uh, enemies just to grab their the AI cores. Those things, those are useful. And the one downside to this new weapon, you can see it does have a bit of a spin-up time, kind of like a, a Gatling gun. So if you get interrupted, it is a little bit worse than the uh, the regular laser, which can just start shooting kind of on demand. And that might make a tougher fight in this guy. Yeah, and again, we don't have... Oh, but we can dig, so we can just... Dig a little outlet. All right, over our carrying capacity, let's head back up to the surface. Oh, perfect, right underneath our ship. Drop off all that inventory. Put away the armor, the laser. All right, save, recharge. Oop, put that back. So we've got the professor's key card. We're gonna head back. To the little underground lab and let's go see if we can talk to the professor. Yes. Ah, the scavenger, that's right. Okay, so the mobile research lab is the game changer for kind of the next phase of the game. It is awesome. It's kind of an all-in-one travel. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do, I don't think it, it shoots, but everything else, it's a research platform. It makes, it um, generates resources. Uh, it's crazy. So 
Uh, we want to get that built as soon as possible. I think we have everything we need. If not, we're really, really close to it. So that I think, let's accept and now we can see, yeah, AI core titanium magna gem. So I don't think we have magna gems on us. Um, is this a chest? Let's see what's in here, nothing. And this is just a terminal, okay. So uh, I don't think we have the Magna Gems on us. I think they're all back on our home planet. So let's drop the inventory. Let's take a quick look. Uh, it would have been better if I had a little bit of foresight and brought some of the Magna Gems along with me. Um, clearly something that you can do in your playthrough to prepare for this, but not a big deal, right? We've got tons of exotic matter now and I think the mobile research lab can generate it kind of on demand from renewable resources. So that's a good stopping point. We basically solved Earth. We took care of the drone crisis. Uh, we got the key card from the scavenger, got the drone factory up and running, and we met the professor and got the quest to build the mobile research lab. So that's where we'll start at the beginning of the next episode. I think we'll head back get all those resources, come back and get that thing up and running. And then from there, uh, we'll figure out where to go next. I think we're done with Earth and we'll move on to Mars once we have that station up and running. So that's where we'll pick things up. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.